this week on Outdoor Bound TV. Experience New Zealand's awesome landscapes, lush forests, and amazing wildlife as we travel to the South Island in pursuit of the majestic red stag and elusive fallow deer. Join Eau Claire's John Held and Jim Zapaltis as they discover why New Zealand is quickly becoming the destination of choice among sportsmen from around the world. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Colby Chrysler Center. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, professionally outfitted hunting trips from Canada, New Zealand, and beyond. Stay tuned for more fallow deer hunting on the South Island of New Zealand right after this. At Kobe Chrysler Center, we know you have more important things to do than worry about your car. So let us take care of you. Whether you need routine maintenance or need a major repair, we are not just fixing your car. We are helping you get back to the things that matter to you. When it comes time for a new car, we'll be there, giving you the biggest selection with no pressure or red tape. If you're looking for a used car, know that our stock comes from people we know. People just like you. At Kobe Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we're gonna to head to the South Island of New Zealand with Eau Claire's Jim Zapaltis. Now, Jim is going after fallow deer. Let's catch up with Jim on the South Island. Hi, I'm Jim Zapaltis from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. I'm here in the uh, South Island of New Zealand, hunting with Lethan Trophy Hunts and Canadian Outdoor Adventures. Uh, this trip was kinda two years in the making for me. Uh, my partner was here before and, and some friends uh, so all the details were pretty much lined up by uh, Kurt, the Canadian Outdoor Adventures, uh, booked through a local travel agency and uh, it was quite uh, painless. Uh, we left Minneapolis, uh, flew to LA, had a layover in LA, and then from there we had the 12 and a half hour flight, uh, which was a great flight, it was on a new plane, and uh, we got to Auckland. And then from there we laid over for a couple hours and then flew down to uh, Queenstown. My first impression of New Zealand was just as everybody had mentioned, it's probably one of the most beautiful countries around. Uh, as we flew in over the lush green hills and, and uh, valleys, it was just gorgeous. Uh, and actually the trip coming into Queensland when we flew over the snow-covered mountains was just awesome. The guides picked us up at the airport and we arrived at Leithen Valley. We were signed to our rooms, we got unpacked, uh, met the camp staff, the guides, got assigned to our guides, um, discussed a little bit about uh, what species we were planning on hunting. Actually got out uh, that afternoon and did a little glassing and saw our first fallow deer. Actually it was a white one which I eventually got two days later. 
um, and seeing all the red stag and, and the fallow deer, it was just unbelievable. It was just really neat. Combinations at uh, Lethem Valley were just next to none. You know, there have been a lot of different hunting camps and to uh, have your own room with your own uh, bathroom and shower, uh, nice beds, uh, it was just really spectacular. And then uh, the meals in the lodge in the morning and at night and the camaraderie of everybody getting together was uh, just made it a more of a vacation than a hunting trip. The train at uh, Lethem Valley was uh, hills and valleys. Uh, the valleys were filled with brush and, and timber. Uh, the hills, the hillsides were smooth grass and so forth. So it was, uh, you know, a spot, spotting and glassing from the top of a hillside and then getting a stock on the game, which sometimes would take, you know, half an hour, or maybe a couple, three hours. So it was, you're always moving. You're sitting and then you keep moving because the animals are moving all the time. They just don't sit still. And it was really neat because the uh, fallow deer were, were grunting like our whitetails all the time and the red stag were growling or roaring and uh, that really made it exciting. There was never a time where you didn't hear one or the other uh, growling or roaring and grunting so that really made it exciting. Our first goal was to, was to get the fallow deer. My goal was to shoot a spotted, a white and a black which is the three color phases of the uh, fallow deer. So the first morning uh, Yogi, my guide, uh, did some glassing you know, we spotted this beautiful fallow buck on a hillside. When we come up through this valley here, stay low and then just cut up. Um, yeah. It's a bit of a tough spot to get to, but I think we can make it work. Why don't we just take the helicopter and drop down on it? <laughs> this workout. You have to live on a mountain, I think. <laughs> we spotted this beautiful fallow buck on a hillside and uh, we did a uh, stalk on him up the hill. Man. 
and uh, got in for a really nice neck shot and I luckily made a great shot and uh, that was the start of it and away we went. It's a beaut. Make sure he's in. Yep. All right, that's it. Thank you, Louis. No worries. Good great, great start. Yep. Here we are, the second morning of the hunt, about uh, 9.14. Uh, we got in yesterday afternoon and sighted in our rifles, and this morning we came out, parked the truck on the other side of the valley, and uh, so we put a stalk up the hill, got me into really close, nice range, and uh, made a shot on him, and this is wonderful. Thanks again for yeah, no the great guiding. Yeah, beautiful day here in New Zealand. Unbelievable country. It's probably some of the most beautiful country I've hunted in. Glad to be here with uh, Leithen Valley and thanks again. Well, here we are. It's about 10 to 11. We've got this uh, beautiful uh, fallow deer about uh, 9.15. We got her uh, caped out. And Yogi carried it all the way here to the spot and was able to bring the truck. So it's a great morning. We're heading back to the camp, get some lunch and clean up the uh, meat, and then uh, hit her again this afternoon. Great day, great start. Thanks again, Canadian Outdoor Adventures. Highly recommend coming to the South Island, book your hunt here, and come down and have a great time. I'd love to come back. I'm Jason Steinauer. This is my son, Spencer, from Eau Claire. Stay tuned for some more great hunting action right after these messages. Visual acuity, enhanced vision, improved shooting, competitive edge, 100% guarantee. Bowtint archery lenses, created by optometrist Dr. Perry Arndt, helping redefine hunting and competitive archery by utilizing tinted optical lens technology to enhance clarity and focus. Dr. Arndt, an avid sportsman, uses tinted lenses in his eyewear to enhance his competitive edge while trap shooting. Bow tint scope lenses are specifically designed to increase focus and clarity. Hi, my name is Perry Arndt and I'm the founder of Bow Tint Lenses. I'm an eye doctor, an optometrist that has been practicing in Wisconsin for 38 years. And I really love my job. But there can be times that my job uh, can be a disadvantage and actually it's times when for instance, I'm playing a sport like baseball, or maybe shooting a bow, or playing golf, and I hit a ball out into the woods somewhere. It's very common that people say to me, have you had your eyes checked lately? Well, one of my friends that I was actually shooting with, his name is Tony, and he asked me one day if it was possible to develop a lens that would work in the scopes of bows to improve the ability to see and sight for bow hunters. Well, with my background in optics and tints and anti-glare, I took that challenge and worked on developing a lens that had magnification, certain tints, tints that would, for instance, highlight a target and diminish the background, have an anti-glare and even a corrective curved surface for better optics and less distortion. So if you would look at our website and check out the colors that are available, uh, give us a call. We can talk about different situations that you're hunting in and shooting in, and we can help customize some of those products for you. Bow tint lenses allow archers to improve arrow accuracy, whether hunting or in competition. Bow tint archery lenses. Improve your competitive edge and order today. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Hi everyone, we'd like to see your photos of the animals that you've harvested this year. If you'd like to have them included on the show, log on to our website, www.outdoorbound.tv and click on the submit video button. It'll give you all the instructions right there. 
Keep them coming. We love to see them, and we'd love to have them on the show. Hey, Jim, congratulations on the great fallow deer. Thanks for allowing us to go along on your hunt. Next, we're going to stay in New Zealand with Elk Mountain's John Held. Now, John Held is going after the majestic red stake. Let's catch up with John. Hi, I'm John Held from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. New Zealand, it's, it's one of the coolest places you could ever want to hunt. It's, it's amazing. There's, there's so many different animals. You can hunt anything. The, the red stag, most people go there to hunt the red stag. Um, there's so much more there you can hunt. We uh, flew into Queenstown, which was very neat because it was it's like it's right down in a bowl and when we were flying in we had to keep circling around and finally we ended up landing and that's where we met Sue from Lethem Valley. Made it to the main camp, met all the guides, um, the owners, the cook. Um, we kind of, we sat down and figured out who was going with who according to what everybody was hunting for. We had a wonderful supper that night. Figured out our game plan for the following morning. Um, the accommodations there were amazing. Everybody had their own rooms. Um, I just cannot say enough about the accommodations. It was, it was wonderful. Next morning we got up, we had breakfast, and we were in pursuit. I wanted to go after a, a fallow buck. So, sun come up, we're out, we're moving. Um, we got to where we wanted to hunt. We seen a, a lot of fallow deer. Nothing actually that I really wanted to take. Seen some nice ones. One that I really was impressed with that I wanted to take, he had a broken um, eye guard, so we ended up passing on him. And it, it started getting later in the morning, so we figured we'd go back, have lunch. Um, on our way back, we seen a really, really nice red stag. We had talked about it for a while and thought, well, I think that's a definite trophy class red stag that I would like to take. So we went back anyway, she was, she was a long ways away. We figured we'll go back and talk about it, make a game plan on them if we decide to take that animal. Went back to the lodge, had lunch, made a game plan on that animal because I, the more I'd thought about it, that it was an amazing animal. He probably had 20 points. He had some stuff on his horns that I, I thought was very impressive. So we went back out and located the animal. He's probably about three quarters of a mile away and made a game plan as to how we were gonna go about putting a stalk on him with the wind and the contour of the land. So we'd actually went back, got around, Figured we could sneak around the side of the, of the hill and hoping the wind would stay the same. We got three quarters of the way around, down through this draw, and we come back up. And there he was standing there looking at us. And I'm like, I couldn't believe that he got our wind. So we, we backed out quick and decided to make another game plan, another stock coming around the other way on him. We ended up sneaking back around where we originally had started from. And we got probably within about 300 yards and we could see his horns. There's, there was no shot on him. He had seen us. And all at once, he had took off out of sight he went down the hill, and I figured he was going up the draw where we'd never see him again. And luck would have it, he cut out the other way and went up the other side of the, the draw. And I had probably about 150 to 200 yard shot.
Yep. Yeah. I was so excited, I, I couldn't believe that I had finally got the red stag I'd always dreamed of. Nope, he's already dead. Ah, yes. Thank you. I didn't see him. I was looking for him over here, and he was cutting out. This is our first day in New Zealand, Leatham Valley Trophy Hunts. It's been a, a great, great day. I finally got this one on the ground. We seen them earlier in the day. We weren't really sure if we were gonna take them or not. I'm really glad I did now because he's, he's actually better than what we thought he was. Glad we made the right decision. When we come back up, uh, the wind was all wrong. We actually went all the way around the back side of this mountain and I think he caught our wind. I'm not real sure he had got up. So we had ended up backtracking, going all the way back around. Uh, we got back, he was, he got back up again. We ended up getting with him probably, I'm guessing uh, 70, 80 yards. Got the shot, and here we are. It was an amazing hunt. I would recommend it to anyone. Welcome to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation Banquet. The mission of the Elk Foundation is to ensure the future of elk, other wildlife, and their habitat. In support of this mission, the Elk Foundation is committed to conserving, restoring, and enhancing natural habitats while promoting the sound management of wild, free-ranging elk, which may be hunted or otherwise enjoyed. Founded back in 1984 by four hunters from Troy, Montana, the Elk Foundation has grown to almost 200,000 members in over 500 chapters around the United States. The Elk Foundation holds a variety of events to raise awareness and funds for wildlife habitat conservation. A highlight is each chapter's annual Big Game Banquet, where fun and fundraising combine for a memorable evening. Sumptuous meals, laughter, and a high-energy auction form the backdrop for the night. These events provide the lion's share of funds the Elk Foundation uses to protect and enhance habitat. People began noticing the decline of elk populations as early as 1785. Elk populations continued to decline as settlements grew and spread. The destruction of elk occurred at a time when naturalists, hunters, and other concerned Americans were beginning to realize the importance of the natural resources they might be losing forever. These enlightened conservationists helped ensure the survival of the remaining elk and other wildlife by calling for regulated hunting seasons, state wildlife areas, national wildlife refuges, national parks, and national forests. Around the same time, proponents of an emerging discipline called wildlife management began to conduct research and implement programs that aided the recovery of elk and other wildlife populations. By fostering cooperation among federal, state, tribal, and private organizations and individuals, the Elk Foundation educates members and the public about habitat conservation, the value of hunting, hunting ethics, and wildlife management. Over the years, the Elk Foundation is responsible for protecting and enhancing over 6 million acres of hunting land. They've even restored areas in Kentucky, Missouri, North Carolina, Ontario, Tennessee, and Wisconsin where the elk populations have long been absent. The foundation upholds the hunting tradition by protecting places where wild animals will continue to thrive and people will continue to hunt. The Elk Foundation encourages the highest standards of ethical conduct among all who hunt. It is their desire to foster a deep love and respect for the land, the wildlife it supports, and the outdoor experience. They believe that honest hunting of free-ranging animals kindles vitality in the individual hunter, deepens appreciation for wildlife, and strengthens society as a whole. If you're interested in the future of elk and other wildlife and want to ensure future generations' enjoyment of North America's precious native habitat and hunting grounds, they're always looking for volunteers. To learn more about the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation or attend an event, please visit their website, www.rmef.org. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Colby Chrysler Center. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Canada Outdoor Adventures, professionally outfitted hunting trips from Canada, New Zealand, and beyond. At Colby Chrysler Center, we know you have more important things to do than worry about your car. So let us take care of you. 
Whether you need routine maintenance or need a major repair, we are not just fixing your car. We are helping you get back to the things that matter to you. When it comes time for a new car, we'll be there, giving you the biggest selection with no pressure or red tape. If you're looking for a used car, know that our stock comes from people we know, people just like you. At Kobe Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home and ready to hit the road. Welcome home to Kobe Chrysler. Conceptual design, quality printing, and custom applications. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Over 20 years of professional service and experience. Pro Designs in Medford, from original concept to finished product. Get the recognition your business deserves. Pro Designs Sign and Printing Solutions. Offering professionally guided, all-inclusive packages, Canada Outdoor Adventures is a U.S.-based company specializing in great hunting adventures in Alberta, British Columbia, New Zealand, and beyond. Whether you're seeking that trophy of a lifetime, planning a hunt for you or your group, or taking your son or daughter on their first adventure, let Canada Outdoor Adventures handle all the details for you. To contact a pro staff member near you, visit our website, Canada Outdoor Adventures, the adventure of a lifetime. Hey, would you like to help us out on Outdoor Bound TV? If you've got a video camera, go ahead and shoot your recovery on your animal and you take us out to commercial break. Hi, I'm John Kirshner from Independence, Wisconsin. I'm here in Alberta. Stay tuned for more hunting action right after these messages. For details, log on to our website, www.outdoorbound.tv and click on the submit video button. It'll give you all the instructions right there. next week on Outdoor Bound TV. Join us for Teen Week as we follow Independence, Wisconsin's Jamie Olson into the mountains of Alberta. The mule deer are in rut, but the frigid November temperatures challenge our young friend as he attempts to bring down a trophy buck. Then later, we find out that teenage women make good hunters too. Fall Creek High School senior Lexi Brown and her father have been baiting in the woods near their Eau Claire County home in anticipation of drawing a bear tag. We're in luck as we follow Lexi out to her tree stand on a quest to shoot her very first black bear. Get that one. We're out of here.